So I've always wanted to build a arcade cabinet. Uh, after playing one this last week uh, at work, uh, I've decided that now's the time for me to do it. So what you see in front of you is a uh, three-quarter inch thick section of uh, plywood. It's cabinet grade and uh, it's eight foot by four foot and I, I just need to lay out the plans. I've got uh, my, uh, my plans on a sheet of paper and after I after I lay it out on this sheet of paper, I'd like to cut it out with my jigsaw and uh, stand it up and then make an exact copy of it uh, so that I can, that'll be the, the, the two sides of my cabinet. So let me, uh, let me get things set up and I'll, I'll get that started. All right, so I drew out my lines and started making my cuts. I uh, cut out the top, this is the top section and uh, this is the, uh, base there and of course the, the bottom cabinet portion. So after doing all those cuts, I, I, I after doing a bunch of measurements yesterday, I discovered that I was short by three inches. Uh, the, the one at work has a space for some caster wheels and I like the height better. So I added three inches from this portion down to here. I, I, uh, I, I added uh, it on the front and the back and all my measurements that were lengthwise or height wise. And uh, I, I, I cut it out, but I didn't cut really close to the lines that I drew because I was starting to see some tear out and I, I, I don't want tear out. So uh, I, I cut far enough away that, that any tear out wouldn't be, it would be on the waist side of my line. And then I have a jigsaw with a finer two, tooth blade that you may not be able to see. There you go. That I think will do a better job than my, my uh, gargantuan bladed uh, scale saw. So that's my next step is to is to take a take a, a, a closer cut using the jigsaw. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. So I stood this thing up to take a few measurements and make sure everything was still matching how I wanted it. And uh, this is the bottom side that was uh, sitting on the table. The reason I, I pointed out this bottom side is because as I as I follow the line, the tear out that I was seeing on the other side. I'm just not seeing uh, here and so I know that the blade that I'm using uh, is a ripping blade and so it's, it's, it's likely to cut and, and make make a little mayhem. I'm going to use my, uh, my jigsaw blade like I mentioned before. Uh, I, I did a little test cut down here on the handle part and uh, like I said this is from the bottom side so the the way this blade works, it's uh, it's it's cutting on the upward stroke. So, right, it's cutting as as the blade goes goes up. It's uh, it's making its cut. So uh, it's only as the blade comes down through the material that it's that it's tearing. And so on my on my device or on my my boards here, I'm thinking to myself. Uh, this is a nice cut. It, it's uh, pretty shiny, and so I, I'll, I'll go slow and uh, and take my time to make sure that I don't mess up the straight lines and uh, and clean up stuff like this that got left behind with the skill saw. But I think I would like to because uh, this will be the outside the outside line. I just got to make sure that when I cut the other one, that the bottom side down is the right bottom side down, so that I have two edges that were cut that were the bottom side on the outside edge of the cabinet so that so that I have no no problems with tear out because like I said I'm not I'm not seeing the the the, the massive cutout problem that I was having earlier so I, I, I don't think I have much to worry about if I if I remember which side is a cut side up and which side is a cut side down. Anyway, that's uh that's it. It's it's getting late in the evening here, so this is probably the end of the part one of my uh, cabinet build. Uh, I'll put some more stuff up as I do it, and uh, we'll, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.